Hey, what's up guys? It's that time again. Let's finish off this Falk breakdown. If you guys missed out on my first video, we go over her entire move list as well as her special moves. You can find a link to that in the video description below. In this video, we're going to discuss her V system. So let's get started. All right, first let's talk about Falk's V skill. She twirls her staff in front of her. So one of the first things that this does is it absorbs projectiles. Only single hit projectiles though, not EX versions or multi-hitting ones, at least until she has V trigger 2. Uh, but the absorb box is actually really big. It even absorbs low profile projectiles such as uh, Jerry's fireball, which is really low, or even another Falk's projectile where she goes prone and shoots you very low as well. Um, it also does not build V gauge when you do absorb it, which is pretty odd. Uh, but it only gives you V-Gage when you actually land this as an attack. So not every matchup is going to have someone who has projectiles, for example, uh, but you can easily combo into it, so it's not that much of a concern. When you do land your V-Skill as an attack, it builds about 25% of one bar of V-Gage. And you can cancel it from normal attacks, which is great, even light attacks, so you can combo this from like a light hit confirm, which is really good, very reliable as a combo tool. And it also causes a knockdown on hit. Unfortunately though, it's minus 10 on block, so you do gotta be careful with this. Moving on to her V-Reversal now, the command is forward and three punches. So first off, this knocks down, which means that it probably is a 17 frame startup, but you're plus 19 when it knocks down, so that means you're plus one after a four dash, so you do get a free dash, just no Oki after it. Um, it does two hits, even on block it does two hits. So that's really strange. I wonder if this will actually affect anything, such as maybe a character's armor move or something. We're gonna have to do some testing with this, but that's pretty much it for a V reversal. All right, let's get to the good stuff now. Let's talk about V-Triggers. So starting with V-Trigger 1, it's a two-bar V-Trigger, and what it basically does is you get access to powered up V-Trigger versions of your projectiles that no longer require you to hold down a punch button to charge uh, if you want to use them. Instead, you just have to press hard punch and hard kick at the same time. Uh, all projectiles hit three times now, um, which means they go all through other projectiles and they do a lot more damage and cause more hits done. It's still possible to shoot your regular projectiles during this as well, so you don't have to just use V-Trigger shots. You can still zone a little bit, and when you really want to turn up the heat, you can start using your V-Trigger shots. So how this affects all three shots, starting with the shotgun one, that's where you're just standing and you press V-Trigger. Uh, the shotgun blast goes a lot further now. Uh, the air shot when you're jumping, it now bounces off the ground and goes a little slower, allowing for some follow-ups um, if you get close enough after, which is really cool. Good for pressure. And then the crouching prone shot causes a knockdown, and it's really, really fast. And all these shots kind of combo into each other really well. So if you start with a jumping air normal and you cancel into your air shot, you'll have enough hits done to land and basically convert it to a full ground combo. Uh, same with the shotgun blast, if you start with the standing V-trigger shot, you can cancel that into your low prone shot, or vice versa. And then all these can just go cancel right into super. So basically, you can combo all three shots together as long as you start uh, with the jumping air shot. So really, really cool. And uh, it basically, you get three shots before your V-gauge runs out. So overall, this V-Trigger may seem a little plain, a little straightforward, but it's very reliable, especially for a two-bar V-Trigger activation, and no can animation as well like her V-Trigger 2. So it also adds a lot stronger zoning. And also being able to do your projectiles like on the fly without having to hold down a punch button to charge it can also be much more reliable too, especially for pressure. If you decide you want to go in with this, you can just use an air shot. It's really hard for your opponent to maneuver around it, especially when it's bouncing off the floor and causes more hit stun. Um, if you decide to activate this right away when you get it and then use your shots right away, I mean, Falk can pretty much reliably get two V-triggers around, especially if she favors calming to her V-skill since it's so reliable to pretty much everything leads into her V-skill for her combos. All right, let's talk about her V-Trigger 2 now. This is a three bar V-Trigger. So when you first activate, you'll do this big can animation where Falk will knock the opponent up with her staff in the air and then shoot him with a big cycle blast. Uh, this move can only be done while activating. It's canned and uh, you cannot do it separately. And it's also very minus on block. So you gotta be super careful. You gotta basically make sure that you confirm into this V-Trigger. You can't just activate it blindly. Otherwise you're gonna be really open for an attack. Uh, you also cannot use this as an anti-air like Birdie, for example, it doesn't have a hitbox like that you'll get blown up if someone jumps in on you when you activate um, but you can cancel the end of this animation into super so you do get a really nice reward if you do happen to land it which is good um, it also leaves you pretty close to the opponent with frame advantage after hit as well which does allow some oki um, it's plus 24 on hit on quick rise so basically you get a free dash into like a medium punch for example 
This V-Trigger also gives you access to two new V-Trigger moves as well as powering up her V-Skill. And these two new V-Trigger moves you can cancel out of your other specials into them, which gives her a lot more combo potential. So like I said, her V-Skill is also buffed during this, basically all our staff attacks. So it will now reflect the projectiles instead of absorbing them. But the big thing is it will also reflect multi-hitting projectiles or even EX versions. So all projectiles it will reflect, which is really nice. You can also cancel out of your V-Skill after you reflect a projectile into one of your V-Trigger specials for really big combo and conversions if someone tries to use a projectile on you when you're pretty close to them. Alright, let's talk about those two new special moves now. The first one is if you just press Hard Punch and Hard Kick at the same time while standing. Basically, you do a forward swing horizontal slash, and it's it's mostly just combo filler just to end your combos with, basically. But it does have good range. Uh, you can cancel into this, like I said, from your normals. You do like a forward Hard Punch to extend a longer poke. Uh, you can also cancel after reflecting, like I said, on the first hit. And it's, and it's also good for landing super afterwards as well. But this next special you'll probably be doing the most. This is done with down and hard punch and hard kick at the same time. Folk basically jumps in the air and there's a downward slash. So this is an overhead. It gives her an overhead which is really dangerous because she also has a standing low. It's plus three on block. So even when the opponent blocks it, you get a frame trap. And it's plus seven on hit which means you can convert into a standing medium punch into full combo basically. So very rewarding. You can also combo into this overhead if you want to. Uh, you can use a low prone shot, for example, and cancel that into the overhead and it'll combo. Or after reflecting a projectile, for example, if your opponent is really close. So one really good thing about this move as well is since you're airborne, this actually makes it a great move for baiting throw attempts, which is really nice. Uh, so you get a huge reward too if your opponent happens to you know, attempt to throw and you bait it. And if they block, you're still plus three, which is really great. So both these new V-Trigger moves, of course, drain V-Gage uh, when you use them. I think it's four if you use them, if you spam it right away. But most of the time, you're going to get three specials. Another really good thing about this V-Trigger, it allows her normal attacks that aren't cancelable to now cancel into her new V-Trigger specials. So for example, her crouching medium kick can now cancel into her V-Trigger moves, or her crouching medium punch, or even her forward hard punch. So it allows a lot more scarier pokes. So overall, I'd say this V-Trigger has a lot of depth and gives Falk much more tools at her disposal, especially with an overhead, more cancelable normals. Uh, the main weakness is definitely the activation. Uh, activating this in the first place is really unsafe since it is a canned attack. And it's scary if you're in a pinch and you need to get this activated right away. But if you do land it, the reward is great. You do get Oki, you can cancel the super. And you also have now have some scary pressure, especially with that overhead. Um, you also don't have to worry about being zoned out from your opponent because now your V skill also reflects projectiles. And you have projectiles yourself. So I feel like Folk has two good choices uh, for V triggers. It basically just comes down to preference. Finally, let's talk about our critical art. This is done by pressing core circle forward twice into punch. So first off, this is a very good anti-air because she does that infamous golf swing upwards. So that's another good anti-air option and it easily combos from many special moves. And I don't think Falk is very uh, meter dependent as a character because she doesn't even have EX projectiles. So most of the time she'll be common to her V skill in general. So it looks like she'll always have her critical art on deck, which is another really scary anti-air option. Alright guys, that's a wrap. That's everything I know about Falk. So hopefully this video has helped you guys out and given you a good head start when she drops on Tuesday, April 24th. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the character so far, her move list, her V system, and if you guys are interested in playing her. Uh, do me a solid guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Of course, like the video. It really helps out. And you guys can look forward to a bunch of Falk guides and combo videos in the future. So till then guys, take care.